What's going on, YouTubers? Why is gold in a bear market, or why is gold not performing? That's the kind of the title of this video. Right now, if you look, I'm on TradingView.com. Here's a, a recent chart. It's a daily chart. People are always asking, what's going on with gold? Why is it underperforming? Are we in a bear market? Are we in a bull market? I think we're in a, right now, like a trading bear market, not a long-term bear market. From top to bottom, I think gold was at 2,075. It wicked up to 2,075. And now we're at 1,775 right now today. Kind of in that range. Again, this is a daily chart. Well, people are always, why is, is gold underperforming? Why is it not doing well? I would say because back when in August, if you go on the chart, you can see we, we topped out at 2,075. That is when we were in the heart of the economic crisis from COVID, where the governments all over the world shut their economies down and reflated their currencies, including the United States. Well, gold is a discounting, I think markets are a discounting mechanism or machine, and I think gold is discounting or was discounting future. So if you remember back then, silver was in the 30s, I think possibly 40s. I don't have a chart up, but, but it corrected down to 12, 1250, I think, if I remember right. And now gold, silver is at 26, 27 bucks an ounce. But yet silver is kind of in a bull market. Gold is not. Bitcoin is in a bull market, but gold is not. Shares around the world, but mainly tech shares and um, even industrial shares from the DAX to the New York Stock Exchange to the Dow, they're all at or were at close to all-time highs. So what is going on? Well, I think gold basically reflects long-term interest rates. Here we have the 10 rate, the 10-year Treasury note, again, a daily chart. As you can see today, it's yielding about 1.29. And if you go back to August, where gold was at its kind of high, there we go, right here. Interest, 10 year interest rates were at half a percent or less. I think they actually got down to a third of a percent back here. I can't remember, yeah. No, looks like 10 years, the 10 year got down to 0.4 briefly. But basically, if you go, if you look at this chart here, August gold topped out at 2,075, and that's when interest rates were at the lowest. In other words, gold and interest rates are highly correlated. When interest rates are going up, gold goes down. When interest rates are going down, gold goes up. That is the answer. That's the short answer. A lot of gold bugs get frustrated and irritated if I say that, or when other people say that. But this is why gold is underperforming because. The government inflated the currencies. The inflation has gone through or is in the process of reflating the economy. And interest rates are in the process of going up. Now, here's my opinion. I think by August, well, beginning of summer, maybe into autumn, interest rates will probably be going back down. Because I don't think the inflation that's going through is going to inflate the economy in the U.S. or the inflation in the EU is going to inflate the EU. Or, the again, inflation in the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. I don't think it's enough, and I think things are going to start going back down, and you'll start seeing gold in the bull market and interest and interest rates going back down. And what you'll probably see is another panic with a reflate again, and we'll go through this all over again. All this volatility is probably going to bankrupt people. Anyhow, that's what I expect. In the last few months, silver has been in a bull market. Prior to that, it was kind of in a bear market, but silver is now shooting up. Gold is, or pardon me, oil is shooting up. Most of the commodities are going up, signifying or signaling that the economy is on a little growth spurt. I say little because I don't think it's going to last very long, but we will, we will see. But as long as the economy appears to be reflating, you're going to have commodity prices go up, but not gold. Gold is perceived as a currency. I think that's why. And as a currency, it's going down as is the dollars being devalued too, but you would expect gold to up, but so far it hasn't. Anyways, from top to bottom, gold's down about 15%. 
in the last couple in the last year bitcoin i think is up 200 percent, or if not more anyhow this is basically my my understanding of why gold is underperformed because interest rates are going up gold and interest interest rates are highly correlated now i'm not going to put a 30-year chart up of the treasury note but but if this turns around, which I think it probably will by summer, I think interest rates will be going back down. I think it will scare the Fed and the EU, and they're going to reflate again. And because markets are discounting machines, we'll probably see gold shoot back up to 2,075, back up to 2,500, well, on the way to 2,500 and $3,500 an ounce, if not more. Right now, we're seeing the dollar getting devalued is still in a bear market. I think by August or the fall, gold, or pardon me, the US dollar could start strengthening it again, it's possible. But that's if the, the world economy slows down. Right now it appears it's reinflating, And I think that is why gold is going down and interest rates are going up. As people lose, lose faith in the economy, if that happens, you're gonna start seeing interest rates tick down, long-term rates like 10 years and above and you're gonna see gold start rallying back up. Now, what will happen to Bitcoin? I'm not sure. I expect there'll be a huge sell-off. I expect there'll be possibly a 50% sell-off in Bitcoin, a 30, 40% sell-off in shares, maybe more. It could be more things are so overvalued in the share markets. And then the Fed, the EU, Australia, Canada, et cetera, et cetera, will start reflating their currencies again then I think you're going to see a really, really huge boom for a time in gold and Bitcoin and in emerging markets. Anyways, that's it for now. This is my view on why gold is in the bear market right now or is going down and the reason why. It basically comes down to interest rates. Gold and interest rates are highly inverse to each other. They're highly, that's you know what I'm trying to get at. So when interest rates are going up, gold goes down. When interest rates are going down, gold goes up. So when interest rates are going down, everything's bubbling and getting ready to reflate, at least for gold. People are pessimistic about the economy and gold. gold. People are panicking about the economy, so people rush into gold. And in that sense, it's a discounting machine. So that's it for now. Like, share, leave a comment. Thanks.